Hi, I'm Darius Grant, DIY Power Couple. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here you'll find DIY inspirations for your next project. In this video, we're gonna show you how we installed underlayment as a part of our peel and stick flooring project. If you like videos like these, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share with your family and friends. And remember, you can DIY too. This is a picture before and a picture after it was tiled. We had to remove old flooring to get to the concrete subfloor. It took some time, but we finally got it done. The subfloor was pretty rough, but we took off as much glue as possible. We had to figure out what type of underlayment we were going to use for this project. We decided to use Plitanium underlayment. After removing some of the planks, we still had to remove some of the nails out of the wall. We found out that plywood underlayment is lightweight and easy to move around. We placed the sides next to each other that we did not have to cut, which helped to give us our straight lines. We took time to measure the space so that the boards would fit perfectly. Since this was my first time cutting, I tried different techniques to see which one was best. Use the handsaw for straight lines. We used a subfloor glue to adhere our underlayment to the subfloor. You can either push the long metal lever or pump the caulk gun to release the glue. This time around, I chose to pump the caulk gun. We added small pieces of underlayment in areas that were harder to reach. We glued the edges and middle of the board so that it would stick to the subfloor. We also applied pressure to the board so that it would stay flat. This is where you could use screws if you have a subfloor that is also wood. Again, we made sure to glue both panels in place of using screws to secure them to the concrete subfloor. Be mindful that the glue will actually stick to your fingers, that's why I'm using gloves. Here's a few things that may help you during your project. This underlayment helped us to have a seamless transition so there was no need for a threshold.
This was a great project and we were pleased with the results. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.